If you're looking for one of the simplest ways to watch a video and walk away with the knowledge to become a millionaire, then you are in the right place. I have a lot of videos about a Roth IRA and every single one I enjoy making because it is one of the most powerful wealth building tools that you need to be investing in. Every single person, every level of income needs to do a Roth IRA. You might be questioning whether it's even possible to make a million dollars off of an IRA. Let me show you exactly how it is done. If Peter Thiel can make $5 billion off of an IRA because he bought $2,000 worth of PayPal stock in 1999, he's one of the co-founders of PayPal, and in 2019 his Roth IRA was valued at $5 billion, which by the way, he's not gonna have to pay taxes on, I promise you, you can do at least $1 million in an IRA. Let's dive into the numbers. I'm going to show you exactly how. And if you have absolutely no idea how an IRA works, that's going to be the second half of this video. First off, the limit for an IRA in 2023 is $6,500. In 2024, it's going to be $7,000 per year that you can invest in an IRA. So if we take $7,000 and divide it by 12 months, that would be about $583 that you would need to contribute into an IRA. Well, what happens when you actually contribute that much into an IRA? So looking at this chart, all the returns are going to be based off of making 10% year over year, which is what the average S&P 500 index fund has done since its inception. Highly realistic for you to do the same, as simple as just investing in the S&P 500. At age 20, investing $583 a month at retirement age, which would be 59 and a half, almost 60, that's when you can withdraw from your IRA without any penalty you would have $3.6 million in your IRA. So let's say you didn't start at age 20, but you started at age 30. You invested the $583 a month, $7,000 a year. At age 60, you would finish with over $1.3 million in your IRA. This is the power of compound interest. And remember, if you're investing in a Roth IRA, this is all completely tax-free money that's available for you. If you start at age 40, you'd finish with $442,000. And starting at age 50, which most would consider is pretty late for investing for retirement, you'd finish with $119,000. Couple things to highlight here. One, age 20 people, age 30 people, age 35 and under people, like it is possible for you to invest the bare minimum into an IRA and make a million dollars plus by the time you retire. The other really important thing that needs to be highlighted here is if you start at age 20, investing the same amount per month as opposed to the person who started at age 50, that 20 year old finishes with more than 30 times the amount of money as the 50 year old does. That's just simply the power of compound interest over decades. So a lot of responses to this may be, I can't afford to give another $583 a month or $7,000 a year. You need to take care of your future self long before you take care of a lot of other things that I guarantee you're spending money on. In the financial world, the average that you should be saving is at least 15% is recommended. Higher end is about 20%. So going off the 15% number, if you make $47,000 per year, which is less than the median household income in the United States right now, 15% of $47,000 is $7,000 or $583 a month. So if you're making $47,000 or more, there is room in your budget to give $583 a month towards an IRA. And it's not about a punishment, it's about the dream of becoming a millionaire by simply doing what I would consider is one of the most bare minimum things that you could do. So one of the major reasons that people are not gonna do it is because it takes 10 to 15 minutes to open up an IRA. I have mine through Fidelity. I'll link a video. You can click it up here or in the description down below on exactly a step-by-step -step guide of how to open up an IRA with Fidelity. I will say there is a caveat. If you have a 401k through your employer and there is a match to that, like your employer is giving you free money, that needs to be exploited first. But immediately after that, an IRA. And if your income is too high to invest in a Roth IRA, deposit your money into a traditional IRA and immediately roll it over to a Roth IRA. So yes, to answer the question, you can become a millionaire simply off of an IRA. There's a lot of other ways to become a millionaire, but I believe this is probably the easiest way to do it, although it's not the fastest way to do it. But what else are you doing in your life right now to retire with $3 million or $1.4 million? Let this be at least one way that you're gonna get there. If you haven't opened one, rip off the Band-Aid, take the 15 minutes, open one. If you're not contributing to one, but you have one open, or you're only contributing $50, $100 a month, set the standard that you will max out your Roth IRA. After that, 
you can make your other crazy investments or your more riskier investments in Bitcoin or whatever you want to do or buy the brand new pickup truck. But at the very least, you need to cover your bases of investing in an IRA. All right, this second half of the video, I'm going to tell you exactly how an IRA works. So if you already know how one works, you can skip this part. If you want to know the details of exactly how the IRA works and how it works for you, then stick around for this part of the video. So an IRA, an individual retirement account, is simply that. It's an investment account that's geared towards retirement. The reason it's so popular is because it has huge tax advantages. If you deposit money into a Roth IRA from, let's say your salary or your paycheck, you pay taxes on that upfront and then any interest it gains. And when you go to withdraw the interest it gained and your own deposit at retirement, you don't have to pay any taxes on it, no matter how large it grew to. However, they put the age restriction on it that you cannot withdraw the gains on your money until age 59 and a half. At any point after you've had the account open for five years or more, you can withdraw your own contributions. You just can't withdraw the gains without a 10% penalty until age 59 and a half. Once you're over that age, you're good. You can withdraw it paying no taxes whatsoever. There are income limits for a Roth IRA. In 2024, if you're a single person and you make over $146,000, you're not gonna be eligible to invest the full amount into a Roth IRA. And if you're a married couple, that number is $230,000 of household income, and you're not eligible to invest the full amount into a Roth IRA. However, like I said earlier in the video, you can still invest in what's called a traditional IRA and either keep your money there you don't have to pay taxes on it now, but you will have to pay taxes on it later or immediately roll it over into a Roth IRA before it gains any interest. And it should be a wash. You shouldn't have to pay any taxes or fees or anything like that. Just remember you have to do it immediately or as soon as you possibly can. If you are married, yes, you both can have an IRA. So one can do 7,000. The other person do 7,000 for a total household deposit of $14,000. Only one of you needs to have a job, which also brings me to another point that in order for any person single or married in order to have an IRA, you need to have some sort of reportable income, i.e. a job that's legitimate. There are several different places you can open up an IRA. Charles Schwab is popular. Fidelity is popular. Empower Retirement is popular. I don't really care what you choose, whatever platform. A lot of them are very similar. Vanguard is another one. Just pick one that you like and go with it. The most important thing to do is to start and to stop delaying opening up an account. Within all those platforms, you can set up automatic deposits from your paycheck, or you can do a lump sum every year, like the $7,000 up front. You can automate as much as you want or as little as you want. So that's it. I'm going on record as saying that is the easiest way for you to become a millionaire is to just simply invest in an IRA. Please, please do it. You can invest in whatever you want. There'll be thousands of different options between stocks and bonds, index funds, whatever you want, mutual funds. S&P 500 index funds are always a great place to start. It captures a large part of the market and has had great historical returns. If you have any questions about anything I talked to, you can comment them down below and I will be sure to answer them. And if you have more than just a question, I am happy to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. You're just gonna have to go to my website, timwolf.com slash services. If you got any value out of this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna continue to grow your financial education. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.